seed is the part of a seed plant which can grow into a new plant. It is a reproductive structure which disperses and can survive for some time. It has so much potential. Like a seed, you and I have so much potential. We have a purpose. We are called to be something. After Jesus saved us, you might ask the question of, now what? So here's Jesus' answer. A group of Greeks wanted to see Jesus and his disciples relate to him the request. Jesus said, if anyone serves me, he must follow me. Where I am, there my servant also will be. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Serve Jesus. Follow Jesus. Christ calls us for a purpose, which are to put God and His will at the very top of our priorities. The outcome of our love for Christ is to serve Him. Jesus says that following Him involves loss and suffering in the process. To the world, it looks like death just as putting the seed in the ground looks like it's being killed. In reality, burying the seed allows the seed to achieve its purpose. In the same way, believers of Christ serve Christ by following what Christ has shown and outlined, dying to oneself and self-interests. If we do not, then we are like a seed which is never planted and never fulfills its potential. Yes, Following Jesus involves both sacrifice and blessing. If we sacrificially follow him, then we will arrive at the same goals that Jesus had. Personal relationship with Christ produces goals matching his. Hence, where he is, there we are. And God will honor the person who serves Jesus, which is a blessing. Won't you be a seed, willing to be buried, so you can fulfill your calling of being a servant of Jesus?